and said goodbye to this 22-year-old Tampa man today. He was a passenger in this crash last weekend. Troopers say the woman behind the wheel was his cousin, Jennifer Carvial, and, and she was already on probation for another deadly DUI crash. Today, she was back in court, and Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us what the judge decided to do. Prosecutors say Jennifer Carvajal is clock going 111 miles per hour just before she loses control of the car and goes airborne. Carvajal, who was the only one wearing a seatbelt, survived. But one of her passengers, her 22-year-old cousin, Pedro Carvajal, did not. Pedro's girlfriend, who was also a passenger, suffered two broken legs. Now Carvajal is back in familiar settings. Good afternoon, Ms. Jennifer Carvajal. Criminal court. Carvajal served time in prison for driving drunk, running a red light, and crashing into a plant sitting man, killing him back in 2014. She was out on probation when prosecutors say she was involved in this latest fatal crash. I advise your client. In court Monday, the judge reminded Carvajal that one week ago he had set bond amounts on the lesser charges, but no bond on the violation of probation charge, which means she's not going anywhere. That will all remain in place. Yes, sir. Court documents reveal the trio were headed home after attending a birthday party for Carver Hall's grandfather, who turned 80. After the crash, the female passenger crawled out of the car and immediately pointed the finger at Carver Hall as the driver. When the officer approached Carver Hall, who was standing by a chain link fence, she denied being the driver or even having any involvement in the crash. Yet records show her injuries were consistent with a vehicle crash. Judge, my understanding in reference. Carver Hall has yet to be charged with the death of her cousin Pedro, but her attorney expects that to change. Ms. Carver Hall, that will conclude your matters here today. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Now, once Carvajal's charges are upgraded, she will have another hearing in front of the judge, and we will let you know what happens.